Sports. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony with Doris Burke on our sideline. Now a chance to check out our starting lineups. First for Boston, Smart and Bradley, the guards. And in its center out of the University of North Carolina, a skilled and mobile seven-footer, Tyler Zeller. Then it's Evan Turner, and it's Lee in at the four slot. And looking at the Lakers, Russell is out there with Jordan Clarkson. And starting seven foot two, one of the true giants in the game, another great big man out of Georgetown, Roy Hibbert. Then there's Kobe, and it's Randall in at the power forward. On occasions last year, the, the Lakers were all right on offense. Other times, uh, they were just stagnant. They, they, there was just no motion, nothing going on. That's a great point. And their ball movement could, could do some work. A, a lot of ISOs last season, and it killed a lot of the flow the team had in the half court. So the Lakers win the tip. And here's Kobe from the arc, and he gets the bucket. Kobe's got the first three points tonight for the Lakers. And they are on the board first. Trying to set the tone here early. I like that. Here's Turner. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. You know, for the Lakers, they were okay in the assist department, guys. But they were dead last in the league in secondary assists. That, to me, is indicative of an inefficient offense and also a new stat category. And for the Lakers and that secondary assist stat, that just means they aren't making the extra pass or it means they are holding on to the ball too long. Either way, it hurts the offense. They're smart. Roy Hibber picking up that last basket. Bradley gets the lead. Here's the pass to Smart. And the first shot of the night for him, missing. I'd send it out to DB who caught up with head coach Brad Stevens. Doris? They'll be up against one of the true giants of the league in Roy Hibbert. And he talked about how impressed he is with Hibbert's dedication to improving his game, saying he's gotten better year after year. And now is one of the guys you have to account for, really, at both ends of the floor. Defensively, you've got to get low and try to root him out of the paint. And then on offense, we'll probably look to put him in picking rolls to test his mobility. Seems like a smart strategy, guys. We'll see how they do. Thanks, Doris. And Boston has possession following the bucket by the Lakers. Turner dishes the lead. Back to Turner. Nice ball movement by Boston. Bradley. It's good from long range. Bradley's got his first three points of the game. You cannot leave him alone like that, especially from long range. Here's Russell. And another three for the Lakers. And guys, we've seen teams hire college coaches with no NBA experience before. It hasn't always worked out. But for Boston, they have to be very pleased with Brad Stevens. And stolen by Russell. And then Hibbert with the dunk. And really, these teams don't even look like they belong on the same court today. I don't think they do, based on what we've seen. A double-digit lead, and we're still in the first. Ow. That's painful. Now, here's Brent. And now Randall pushing it up, and no one back to stop him. Throws down the breakaway jam. You could not diagram a better way to open a court. Yeah, I agree. I mean, look at the lead they've jumped out to already. What a start. Los Angeles on D, leading by 12. Bradley kicks to Turner. Smart passes to Lee, dishes it to Smart. Here's Zeller, and good work on the boards. They pick up the second chance points. The tenacity on the interior, just battling, bringing that effort and will for second chance points. Good. Eight points for Kobe Bryant. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this game. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensively. And that's two fouls for him very early in this ball game. We'll probably have to spend some time on the bench before halftime. Boston making a switch here. Kelly Olenek checked in for Tyler Zeller. Jared Sollinger comes in for David Lee. Yurebko's checked in for Evan Turner. And Jake Crowder's subbed in for Avery Bradley. Here's Sacre. Pass. Defended by Crowder. And he gets the bucket. Couldn't have dreamed a 
of a much better start here than they've had today. I think the offensive game plan they came in with was right on point. It's worked perfectly, and the lead they already have is proof in the pudding. Domination in the first quarter. It's been pretty lopsided. Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Lakers? They've made the commitment to get out and run, and it's paid off with some highlight reel plays in transition. The other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've been able to convert off turnover. Thomas dishes to Crowder and stolen by Williams. You know what? That passing lane wasn't open for long. He closed it down in a heartbeat there to get the season. It's a temporary lapse of focus from him on that turnover. It's embarrassing, but on occasion it does happen. Celtics trail by 15. Well, there may be some questions for a while about D'Angelo Russell. People will guess which position he's best at in the NBA. You and I saw him firsthand playing for the Bucs. I mean, he is a terrific talent. Yeah, he really is. I think he's an old-school guard, Kevin. He can play with the ball and be effective, or he can play off the ball. He's got a really bright future. Loved watching him play and grow as a um, one-year college guy at Ohio State. Amir Johnson's checked in for Boston. On defense, the Lakers. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 15 points. Six to shoot. Thomas goes in. Puts up the baby hook. No good. Nice D from Russell. And guys, one thing that stands out to me about Russell is how good he is at certain NBA plays. Very strong in the pick and roll already. Knows how to attack with contact. Great vision, and he can also shoot the basketball. A shot's good from Jarebko. Yurevko's got his first basket of the night. Guys, you know, you're not going to hit that shot too often. That's high risk. Los Angeles making a switch here. Lions checked in. One fifty-seven left to play here in the second quarter. And you can say this just about every prospect, but I think with Russell, he'll need some time to adjust. He has the raw skill to play multiple spots on the floor, but each position has a nuance to it that he'll need some time to learn. And another thing that stands out about him, Steve, he has the ability to score even with defenders draped all over him. He's so strong around the goal. Crowder kicks to Thomas. He dishes it to Johnson. Can't get it to go. And the Lakers will go the other way with it. Pass to Sacre. Good, and it's Williams who picks up the assist. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from him. So the Celtics call timeout. They're first. We've got 113 left here in the second. Foul called that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And watching Jake Crowder, he can really boost you up, you know, Greg, and take you out of your game. One of the most physical wings, I think, in the NBA. And, and, you know, not the most flexible athlete, but he makes up for that with that strength that you, you mentioned. It allows him to control the pace. I mean, he's a bumper and a grinder and, and hitting a big three out of nowhere. So he's what we call a true game. Here's Bass. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. Celtics trail by 20. Thomas passes to Yurepko. Thomas. Yurepko dishes to Thomas. Kicks to Crowder. Boston again missing. Boy, oh, that's got to be deflating and disappointing to miss a wide open shot like that right in your wheelhouse. And he's been known to struggle with that shot. The confidence not there. And it's probably why he's wide open. good and it's Thomas picking up the assist second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone Williams for three and good on the basket Cooking. Williams has got himself going there his first points of the game on the deep ball 
That's the risky run by staying out there as he picks up his third. The Celtics shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. He's off on the first. Austin making a switch here. He hits the second from the line. 15 seconds left now here in the second. Here's Clarkson. And another three for the Lakers. There's 10 seconds left in the first half of the game. Here's Thomas. Let's the three fly. A dominating first half of basketball. And so far, hasn't been close. Four Lakers, 36. The Celtics, 13. As we begin the second half, first half wasn't even close, guys, and we'll see if there is a comeback on our hands or more of the same as we get the third quarter started. Well, how about Kobe in this one? He's got 10 points, and he's done a little bit of work behind the arc. He's got a pair of three-pointers. And you know what? The defenders have that in the back of their minds now. They'll be on him a little tighter. The 17-footer. Can't get it to go. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Up Jay and another basket for the Lakers. And they looked terrific in transition today. That's had a lot to do with their success. Oh, it certainly has. I mean, they've done a really good job recognizing anytime they've had the numbers advantage and then they've taken advantage. We've seen it time and time again here. It's Bradley on the wing. He's covered by Clarkson. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Well, last year, Tyler Zeller both started and came off the bench, showed he could be an effective player even when playing heavy minutes. Yeah, and if you look at the games that he played as a starter, he increased his usage, and it didn't bother his production at all. And for Zeller last season, his numbers were the same or better as a start. The scoring picked up a touch. Still had a great field goal percentage, too. So really solid production in this first couple of years. That's good. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. Now a timeout called by Boston. And I think the big thing for Zeller was that he found his role in the league. He knows he'll be an energy guy who has to make the most of his touches. And to his credit, he is nothing but a positive force on the floor. Looking at who's out there now for the Lakers. Brandon Bass has checked in for Julius Randle. And Nick Young is subbed in for Kobe. Stolen by Clarkson. Goes up. And guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. And guys, in a game this snug, moments like that are the ones we usually look back on at the end as a difference maker. Back to Turner. Wide open, couldn't capitalize. I'll tell you what, folks. I bet he won't miss that shot next time he takes it. Shots good from Young. Having a lot of trouble stopping the three-point shot. And they're not making up for it with their own shots from deep either, so that's a double-edged sword there. Knocks it loose. A solo fast break. Here's Hibbert. Hammers it in after taking it the length of the floor. And, and from an offensive standpoint, they have just been stellar. Yeah, really good. I mean, extremely well coached, fluid, efficient. Man, it's been a lot of fun to watch. The points just keep piling up because they've been um, such a well-oiled machine. Zeller setting the pick for Brandt. Too long in the paint, and he's hit with a three-second violation. Last season, the Celtics had a solid 19-22 and 22 road record, Clark. Not the 500 mark most teams want, but a very good effort from a young team, and no one really expected it. Yeah, and you think about this team that's still growing and has a lot of youth. I mean, that kind of road record, very impressive. Their fans should be feeling pretty good about what the future holds with this group. And Olenek kicks to Bradley. 
Leads him in there. Turner. And he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Yeah, well done to finish that one off. And thinking back on the Celtics, on the road, their away record doesn't tell the whole story. They won their last seven road games in that tremendous playoff push. The Celtics have gone one of three since starting the second half. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. And Olenek kicks to Bradley. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. Bradley's got six points. The rapid fire threes coming from everywhere. Yeah, I'm not sure of the quality of that three point shot attempt right there. Going at it the way they did, but it all worked out for him. Thomas with the ball. Tries it from the top of the key. No good. Almost no chance of that shot going in. Yeah, there were a lot of other places he could have gone with the basketball instead of forcing that shot up. And welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. More action in store as the players get ready to go. Having a nice break to get hydrated with Gatorade. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for Los Angeles. What a tremendous showing from the three-pointer all through this game. They've repeatedly gotten out on the break tonight as well and scored a lot of baskets in transition. You know, something that's floating around in the sports world and in the NBA is reseeding after the playoffs start. And for those of you who may not understand the situation, it's simply saying that no matter what, he would play the lower seeded team, however you get to those numbers. Williams gets the bucket. 12 straight points off of three pointers, and the D looks shell shocked. And guys, now that they're rolling from out there, the defense has to really get up into them. You've got to almost be in their jerseys to try to deny those looks. Dives for it, and that's out of bounds. Boston will retain possession. Tyler Zellers checked in for David Lee. Here's Zeller. Pass to Smart. Six on the shot clock. And there's Perry Jones on the assist from Smart. Los Angeles has gone two for two from three-point land to start the fourth quarter. Kelly buries it from three-point range. And how about the last five made shots have all been three. The defense is just giving up a barrage. Most teams get the message to cover shooters after one or two wide-open looks at the three-point shot, but it seems like they have just not figured it out. And Bradley gets it to go. Well, after a horrible half of shooting, they bounced back here in the second half and picked up their shooting percentage um, quite nicely. Here's Russell. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over and over. And they may have found the Achilles heel of this defense. That was their ninth straight point from beyond the arc. Jones kicks to Smart. Olenek, Young with the steal. One sixteen left in the fourth quarter. Traps in the train. I think they're trying to go for the kill here. I mean, they're starting to take a lot more three-point shots than they had been before, looking to run away. Yeah, and as long as you keep getting quality looks, the coaches should have no complaints. Play with confidence. Got a piece of it. Here's Kelly. And he bangs it home with one hand. Well, if it wasn't out of reach, it is now, thanks to that last little spurt. And why put the brakes on now? I just say keep on letting it fly. Olenek sets a screen for Brent. Makes the lead pass. A big part of the problem for the Lakers last year was consistency. But with all their injuries, they had to shuffle the lineup it seemed every game. Well, you know what happened with all that shuffling was they got to see a lot of different players and evaluate them right. for the future. I think it helped in regards to what they're going to do this offseason. And he makes the first. And for the Lakers, obviously the big get for them was landing the number two overall pick in the draft. Getting a quality big to add to a roster with Kobe is huge. It made them a player again, I believe, in free agency. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. 
Your Rebco's checked in for Kelly Olinick. Jake Crowder comes in for Avery Brath. And it's Isaiah Thomas in for Marcus Smart. For Boston, they've gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. And, you know, when it comes to the Lakers, they're always going to be players in free agency if they have money. It's still a marquee franchise in the NBA, one of the top two or three, no doubt. When you have high draft picks and money to spend, people want to play for you, and not to mention California is an attractive destination. Well, they're going to walk out of here with a win and send this crowd home happy. Yeah, you know, it was a real solid performance for them in a lot of areas. I mean, they should be proud of their work tonight. Crowder kicks to Yarepko. This is it to Thomas. Right side, Thomas. Nice D from Russell. Usually, if he gets to the rim, he's converting it into points. 